It's cold. <laughs> Go get up, bro. Yo. Yo. This nigga is wild. Stop blacking. Thank you. Yo, man, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Joe. I'm coming back with another video, man. Now, this is my three month update video. My three month update of not doing any drugs, no weed, no liquor, no, no nothing, bro. No nothing. I've been sober for three months straight, bro. And uh, usually when I do these videos, I talk about how I did it and uh, why I did it. So, Let's jump right into it, right? And how I'm feeling now, right? So let's jump right into it. But before the video even started, you should have seen like a clip of me from like, I think this was like two years ago. A video of me from like two years ago when I was just like off the drugs. I had just, I just, sm I probably smoked like the whole day that day. Um, I was drinking liquor too. I don't even like to drink alcohol, but for re some reason that day I was just drinking alcohol, bro. Just heavy on the drugs and just taking drugs to like, I don't know if I was going through depression back then or what was going on. But I just remember back then, like I was heavy on drugs and um, I don't know why, man. That was just what everybody around me was doing. All the friends that I had around me, we was just taking drugs the whole day. Um, I think I had probably had like twenty dollars to my name. Um, I wasn't really focused on any of my goals or anything I wanted to do or school. I was just more focused on having fun, you know. Especially when I was on these drugs, because when you're on drugs, bro, you really don't care about nothing. Like you don't care. Like you're only worried about the moment. Because like these drugs, like when you get on them, like especially when you smoke weed or alcohol. You feel so easy and you feel so relaxed that you just want to enjoy the the pleasures in the moment, right? You don't really care about the future or uh, any kind of mistakes that could jeopardize your your future, or you don't really think about the past. You just think about the moment, right? So, after being on these drugs for all of this time, uh, I don't know exactly when I decided like to like change. I think it was when I realized like, yo, this is not right. Like just smoking every day being, I felt, I honestly felt like a loser. Cause I don't know me, I've been there. I felt like I've been different aside from a lot of people in my life growing up. Like I was able to like realize certain things aside from like, cause they call it, they call it the matrix, right? Like when you like, you take the red pill, you take the blue pill. I feel like a lot of people in my life have been blue pill. Like they don't really know some of the dynamics of life. And I feel like I've always been able to pick up on like outside things or things that normal people can't like really understand. Like, for example, like, like when you just like smoking all day, like my friends would just be cool with smoking all day. Like they think this is normal, but me, I would just be sitting there like, damn man, we're losers, bro. Like all we do is sit around and do drugs and like we're not really doing nothing with our lives got twenty dollars tied our name we barely struggling to um get money to buy to buy drugs so i guess that was around the time where i like really decided to like you know what i'm gonna go on my first break and not do drugs anymore right i went on like a month i put it on youtube without doing drugs for like a month and then um i relapsed because I, I don't even know why I relapsed. Cause sometimes, you know, you gotta celebrate, but I relapsed and when I was doing, when I came back to like weed and stuff like that, um, I wasn't really focused on anything, right? I just came back, I smoked for like a week or two weeks, just getting high. And then my money like went from up here to down here, bro. Like I literally had no money in my pocket. And that was around the time, like, my car broke down, too. So, like, when I was smoking, like, my car broke down. I had no money to fix my car. I was depressed because I was on drugs. Like, 
So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go on a I'm gonna go on a three month streak, right? That was in that was in January. That was January, right? We're in May. No, that was February. That was February. We're in May right now. February, March, April, May. That was in, that was like February first. I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna smoke for three months straight, bro. And during the time, I got my money up. I started stacking. Um, I've been meditating, focused on my body, like, and that's that's really the point. The the point I'm trying to get at is like, you have to like let shit go. Certain things in this life that bring you pleasure, that you love to do, like um, going out to parties, doing uh, drugs, or even eating eating like fast food. Like you gotta let that shit go, right? Cause it was it's this quote. I forgot what it's called. It's called like um. It's called like sacrifice now, for um for a greater tomorrow, because most people, most people that want to succeed or like want to um be better, they're not willing to sacrifice, right? Because if you sacrifice, I really look at it as like a sacrifice, like a ritual, because. If you're willing to sacrifice something or like give up something, then you, you're gonna reap the benefits tenfold. And in my case, I wanted to um, get more money. I wanted to um, advance physically with my body, right? So I gave up weed. I gave up. I gave up. Um, I gave up eating eating like shit. I gave up socializing with friends, right? But that's the problem. Most people are not willing to sacrifice. They're not willing to give up stuff. Or you know, this it's like it's like you gotta give up something. Like if you wanna advance in life, let's say you wanna uh lose weight, you wanna lose 50 pounds by the summer, you gotta give up something, bro. Give up food. Let's say you wanna um you wanna get more money in the bank. It's just like it's like a sacrifice, it's like an actual sacrifice, like a ritual. Like you gotta give up um fucking spanish people man they love i don't know why why spanish people love blasting spanish music bro no other race of people will be blasting blasting their music except for spanish people but anyways right i look at it as like a ritual right if you want to like advance in life you got to sacrifice something bro like if you want to get more money you got to sacrifice going out with friends or going to clubs and just like lock down for a couple of months but you know, a lot of people are not willing to sacrifice and that's why they're stuck where they're at. They're more comfortable with just being in their situations and sacrificing. I'm not going to say I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, just sacrifice, bro. But sacrificing is very uncomfortable. Like you got to like be like sturdy for the whole for a while. You can't just do it for like one day or one week. Or one month, you gotta do it for a while, bro. You gotta do it for a while, and it gets it gets tough. It's times where it gets stressful, and let's say you sacrifice some weed, and you reach a moment in life where it gets real stressful. You might be inclined to just smoke some weed or do some drugs to ease the pain, but you gotta be strong through that, bro. You gotta think. You gotta think about the future and tomorrow, and think about why you doing. Why you even doing what you're doing, right? If you just um sacrifice man if you sacrifice if you sacrifice for now and then later along the lines look more spanish music like they just be blasting it like i don't know why bro but if you sacrifice if you're willing if you can sacrifice for now bro like later along the lines it's gonna be so much better for you so like me now i took three months off of just drugs off of just like eating bullshit um and I've just been, I feel so much better. My money is at a as at, at a greater point than it's ever been. Um, I'm way more focused. I've been able to um upload every day. Um uh, and my body, man. Uh I've been going to the gym like every day. But it's about sacrifice, man. You gotta be willing to uh sacrifice for the things that you want. If you want to succeed. If you want to um, advance, advance yourself for the future, right? But most people are not willing to do this. And that's why they never succeed, bro. And it's going to get lonely when you're on this journey, bro. Sacrificing, 
Maybe you want to um, start saving money. You're going to have to leave your friends alone, bro. You're going to have to be by yourself. Hey, Joba. Yo, pull up, bro. You about to go to this party? Nah, bro. I can't I can't go there right now. Because you know you probably going to spend a couple of dollars. A couple hundred dollars when you're at the club. You know you could be using it to work on your business. So you, you got to choose if, if you want it or not. Because most people, they don't want it bad enough. They don't really want it bad enough. So you got to want it. If you want it, if you want to succeed, that's the only way, bro. It's like a ritual. You got to, like, sacrifice, man. I'm going to keep saying it because, like, it means so much to me. And, this, like, when you when you really willing to, to sacrifice, you like it's like God just bless you with, like, all of the stuff that you gave away. It comes back tenfold, bro. You weren't willing to spend money. And then it comes back tenfold. The money starts stacking up in your in your bank account. You weren't willing to eat food or eat fatty food and stuff like that. And then your body and your physique get, get cold as fuck, bro. You feel me? But yeah, it's gonna get lonely messing with the people that you used to mess with. Right now, I'm, I'm but I'm that's that's just how it is, man. When you're by yourself on this journey. I'm I'm rambling, but like when you when you when you really by yourself, that's another thing too. You gotta get comfortable being by yourself, bro. Cause most people they love being like around people that like are not good for them. Like people that just cause I got friends that just do drugs. That just even the person that was filming that video, like I remember linking up with him like literally every day just to smoke weed, bro. To smoke weed. Do nothing with our lives, but we just smoke and listen to the music for hours, hours, wasting money, 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 money. We would get sad when the weed was finished. And then we would just like, yo, bro, yo, bro, I got you next time, bro. Like making debts just to smoke more. Like it's like that's the life you wanna live, bro. Is that the life you wanna live? But yeah, you gotta want it, bro. Like you gotta like you gotta look at yourself, be able to analyze the way you live in. And just be like, nah, bro. Nah, this is not the life I want to live for myself, man. And then after that, you got to sacrifice, man. Put in the years. Put in the put in the time and grind. Put in the time to try to elevate. And that's what I'm doing now, man. But honestly, after this three months, I'm probably going to relapse. I'm uh, probably going to smoke some more weed. Because <laughs> uh, I, I like weed. I'm not, I'm not going to say weed is a bad thing. But it's, it is a bad thing, but I'm not going to say sit here and be like, you know, because there's a lot of bad things in this world that people do, like alcohol or um, shit. Even eating candy is bad, but, like, you know, people still do it. It's just, like, you got to find, like, a medium. You can't just be eating, eating candy, like, every freaking day, every hour, you know, or smoking weed every day. You got to find a medium, right? So I might come back to smoking weed. And then, you know, do it and then go back on the grind. It's all about the grind, bro. Sacrificing for now so you can succeed later. But I'm out, man. Thank you guys for listening. Um, tune in for new videos every coming every single day. Sacrifice, man. Sacrifice. Make sure you are willing to sacrifice, man. And it's all on you. Nobody else can do it. It got to be on you. You got to sit down and look at your life and be like, you know what? I'm tired. I don't want to be. I don't want to live this life anymore. And then you got to sacrifice, bro. But yeah, I'm out, man. Peace. Thank you, guys.